Hello YouTubers, this is uh, Raptor. Um, I found out what was wrong with my uh, my uh, automatic temperature control sensor. The display here wasn't working. So um, I already kind of pried it out most of the way with, with uh, my wife's uh, one of her utensils. Um, so should come out pretty easy. Here's my problem. It was the uh, it was this plug here. wasn't getting a very good connection. One of the pins on it was um one of these pins here wasn't getting a very good uh, connection to the back of the uh, panel. So I took them apart. And clean them. Um, this uh, oh, but here's the wiring schematics right here. I don't know if you can see it. This is the back of the the plug where the wires go in. There's uh, 12 spots for wires. I don't know if you can read that. That's the uh, one through six, and this is uh, seven through twelve. And here's the wires right here. These are some spot six here. Five is next. The orange is number four. That goes to the panel lamps. The next one is black, number three, that's ground. Then yellow. Looks well, actually a uh, violet with the yellow stripe. And that's a um that goes to the to the um PCI. And then uh then the black with light green stripe, that's another ground. And on the other side is the um, the red with the yellow stripe. Actually it's a tan stripe. And that's the in-car, that goes to the in-car temperature sensor. You see that here really good? Yeah, there it is. Then there's um, dark blue with a gray stripe. There's a gray stripe on there. And that's the uh, sensor ground. Then there's an empty slot there. There's an empty slot in there. That's number, uh, empty slot's number nine. Then number 10 is a white. White, uh, and that goes to the fuse. Number 17, it's a 10 amp. And number 11 wire, which is the yellow and dark green stripe, which is right there. That goes to the uh, aspirator motor, which is that little fan on the back of the uh, thing to suck the air in to tell the temperature. And then the pink is another fuse. Uh, it goes to the fuse panel. And that's... Uh, Number 19 fuse. Um, what I did is, um, I don't know if you can see it, I popped these uh, out. I popped these uh, little things out. This kind of folds down here, right here. This little thing folds down. And then I stuck a little pin in there. And, uh, 
released each little wire individually and I kind of cleaned them off with a little um, a little cleaner, a little electrical cleaner and um, then I put a little bit of uh, this electrical grease on there and stuck them back in each individual one and then uh, stuck it back on Push it on a little bit at a time. Make sure it goes on okay. two hands to do this so yep that was my problem and now when I turn it on I get all my uh, my temperature readings you shut it off shut it on and get all that reading this was not lit now um, here's the uh, way to test the um, have it on 75 shut it off I'll push these three buttons at once to do a um, diagnostic check. And it starts to blink. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, the doors on the uh, vent doors are going are cycling. And um, little fans running, everything's doing a little. Uh, test and then if there's any problems it'll flash a code on this panel here and that's it and usually if there's a problem it'll flash a code on there it'll tell you what's wrong oh 36 have to see what 36 code 36 is. Okay, well, maybe there's a, another problem. Let's see what 36 is. Okay. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, helps you out there. And uh, thanks for watching again.